for watching How to Buy a Home with Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com. So what type of loans are there? There's VA, FHA, conventional, cash to loan, RAP, owner carry, CHAFA, bond, and an arm loan. And that's nine loans just at the top of my head. <laughs> so, so there's probably even more programs than that. But that's, that's the different types of loans. There's governmental loans, which is VA and FHA, and then the rest, you know, the owner carry is basically the cash to loan, the wrap, and the owner carry, which doesn't involve a bank at all, which is kind of nice, or a little bit if you do a wrap. I'll explain that a little bit later. And then your conventional is basically what the bank is, is loaning you. Um, yeah, your VA, FHA, your bond, and your CHAFA, those are first time home buyer loans in rural. It's another one, rural loan. Those are your first time home buyer loans that you're capped and how much money you make and um, um, where the property is located. And they have different issues, you know, issue of this block of money for, you know, this period of time. They'll, they advertise it in the paper saying, you know, bond money available or chat the money available for first time home buyers. And you have to be a first time home buyer if you haven't owned a home for. Um, the last three years, you're considered a first-time home buyer, um, and they allow you to buy a home in a certain area that usually has more rentals than owner-occupied. That they want to lift up owner-occupied um, um, density in the area. Um, they'll map it out in the, in the city that they're talking about. So that goes with chapa and with bond. Um, so those are the you know several different types of loans that there are, and um, I'll go into more detail and depth in the next videos. Um, well, let's also discuss what prepaid and closing costs are. Besides your down payment, you have prepaid and closing costs. Closing costs are what the bank charges and the title company charges for you to get your loan. The title company will charge you as a buyer. Um, the title insurance that costs to um, um, insure the loan, you know, the title commitment for the loan. Um, the, the, the title company has little title fees that they can charge you. Um, the bank will charge you a 1% origination fee, which is 1% of the loan, and or they'll charge you recording fees, um, um, processing fee, underwriting fee, uh, appraisal, credit report, and all these things are usually costs that they have to get that loan. Um, so it can range from a half a point to a point more than what your closing costs are, besides the origination fee. So that's what closing costs are. So you can count on, you know, if you're looking at, you know, uh, uh, 300 to 500,000, it's going to be about five grand. And if you're looking higher than that, it can be as high as eight to ten thousand um, dollars for closing costs. And then there's your prepaids. What are prepaids? Prepaids is a total separate thing from closing costs because closing costs, once it's spent, it's spent. But with prepaids, what it really is is a reserve for the bank to hold for you. Um, and it's escrow, it's your insurance and your taxes. And usually what they do is charge you two months of taxes for reserve. So if it's $100 a month, it's $200 if they'll charge you at time of closing. And then the insurance, which if it's $100 a month again, and um, they'll charge 12 to 14 months that you have to have in reserve, so $1,200 to $1,400 and $100 insurance policy a month um, in reserve. So if you go in default, the bank has the money to pay and pay the additional taxes and insurance. Um, and you want to make sure that, that that is paid. So every time you make your payment, you have a PITI, Principal Interest Taxes and Insurance, which with the TI, you put it in reserve, and when it's due once a year, the bank pays it for you. So that's kind of nice. So anyway, we'll go on to the details of the different types of loans, and thanks for watching Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.